Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, first, I'd like to give honor to the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ as in this wonderful place. Uh, I'm Bishop Michael Maddox from the Living Waters Apostolic Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you uh, this morning to look at the gospel with me and look at the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, today, this morning in Ghana, we're going to look at the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. Amen. And the word today, uh, the time is right. Yeah? The time is right. Praise him. We're talking about time. We're talking about something that has a continuous existence. We know that Jesus Christ is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and the first and the last. Praise the name of the Lord. And we know that something is right. That means it's accurate. It means it's correct. Uh, it's not wrong. Praise the name of the Lord. So we're talking about today, the time is right. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. So Ecclesiastes chapter 3, beginning at verse 1, it says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Oh, what are you doing? What is your reason? Praise the name of What is your reason? Amen. That you have under heaven to do something. Praise the name. What do you want to do? Well, the Bible talks about in verse 2, a time to be born and a time to die. You know, it's a, such a blessing when someone is born. Or oh, everyone is joyous. But when someone dies, people are unhappy. But I want to tell you something. If someone has died and they had a great life, we, what we do, we celebrate their life. Okay. So when you're in uh, the church of the living God, if you're in the church of Jesus Christ and you die, we celebrate your life. Eh? Why? You've gone before us in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to to heal so what we're talking about there's different kinds of time amen well a time to kill you go to war someone's going to die but after the war oh you want peace oh you want to come together you want to sort things out praise the name a time to break down a time to build up a time to weep and a time uh, to laugh oh sometimes you know what things are not so good and you want to cry oh yes you want to cry about the situation that you're in but after a while, when you reflect on your time years later, sometimes you laugh about the same situation. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. You know what? Sometimes we, there's a great welcoming. Why? Why? We are brothers and sisters in Christ. Oh, when we meet each other, we embrace. But you know what? If you're not talking to each other, some of you don't want to embrace. But the season will change again when you start embracing again. The Bible goes on in verse 6, a time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend, that means to tear. Amen. And a time what to do, to sow, to bring things back together again. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. You know what, when the preacher is speaking, keep silent. Listen. You might learn something. Something that will enable your soul to make it into heaven. So stop the talking. Amen. And listen to the word of the Lord. Why? Because the time is right. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says in verse 8, a time to love. Oh, yes. And a time to hate. Amen. I love it when I see people in love. But I'm not too happy when I see this hatred. God doesn't like the hatred between the brother and the sister. Between the mother and the father. Or between the children and the parents. God doesn't like that. He likes when there is love. Why? Because God is love. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Praise the Lord. If you go to uh, Psalm 27 and verse 5. This is what it talks about. When it talks about time. This is what it says. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon the rock. So there's so many different kinds of time, but we're looking for the time is right. Time for you and your life, for things to change for the better. Amen. But if you are in trouble, oh yes, the Bible says, for in the time of trouble, you need God to be around. Amen. I don't know anybody, amen, that's in trouble, that don't need God around. He said, he shall hide me in the pavilion. What? In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall what? Set me up upon a rock. Amen. You can't be moved. He will look after you. Praise the name of the Lord. That's the kind of God that we have. 
Amen. I'm going to go to the book of Luke for the preaching of the word. The book of Luke, chapter 13. I'll give you some time to find it. Begin at verse 10. Amen. Praise God. This is a time. Amen. The time is right for something good to happen to you. Amen. The Bible says in Luke chapter 13, beginning at verse 10, it says, And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. Praise the name of the Lord. So what happens? You have Jesus Christ coming to the synagogue and teaching. Praise the name of the Lord. But while he was looking and teaching, there was a woman there. The Bible said, amen. But that had a spirit of infirmity for what? For 18 years. Amen. And she could not lift up herself likewise. So what happened? This woman was walking around like this. Uh, are you doubled up like that inside? Is that you? Oh, your life uh, in turmoil for, for so long? Well, this woman for 18 years. Oh, God. That represents a lifetime. She was doubled up. She had a spirit of infirmity. What do you have? Amen. What condition do you have that's causing your life to be doubled up? What condition do you have? Praise the name of the Lord. That your life, amen, it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. But this woman, for 18 years, she was doubled up. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But she found her house, herself in the house of the Lord. I don't know about you. But when somebody has a bad condition in the church, you know what people start pointing a finger at them? They start saying, you must have done something wrong. Even the children, hey man, I believe, when they saw this woman going by, walking like this, uh, doubled up, they must have said to themselves, oh, look at the doubled up woman. Look at the mashup woman. Hey Amen. Look at this woman all mangled. Is your life mangled? Is your life like that? Praise the name of the Lord. That you can't do anything that you'd like to do. You can imagine when this woman is lying down. Her leg is in the air and her back is on the bed. Why? Because she's doubled up. But, but some people, like I said, they will believe that this woman is like that. You know why? They will say, she must have done something wrong. How many of you are looking at this woman? Or looking at other people as in a bad condition? Amen. In the house of the Lord. And you're saying they must have done something wrong. But I want to say to you, you know what, when you're going through your situation, you see there was a time for everything under the season, under, under the season, there's a time for everything, there's a purpose for everything. But this woman, time was that she was sick, she had a spirit of infirmity, but it doesn't mean it's going to be that way all the time. Yes, for 18 years she was suffering, for 18 years she was doubled up walking like this, praise the name of the Lord. But I want to say to you, amen, that when someone's going through, their pain. Have you considered, praise the name of, that God wants to get the glory out of your situation? Have you considered, amen, praise God, that you are going through something and you're in the house of the Lord. You've been serving Jesus Christ all your life and your condition that you have is getting worse. But have you considered that God wants to get the glory out of your situation? Well, this woman, the Bible says, and behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. But you know what? She found herself in the house of the Lord. Because she would have considered to herself that if she keeps on coming, amen, maybe one month or maybe, maybe one week, maybe one day or one moment that the Lord from heaven was going to come and heal her. So she was faithful. The Bible said, if faith, if you have faith, it's a subject of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 and verse 1. You know what? She had faith, believing that Jesus Christ will pass through. Will pass through the situation and do something. Amen. But some people, they don't believe, amen, that God can do anything. But this woman, steadfast. Steadfast, unmovable. Going through an issue, going through a problem. You know, some people, they have an issue for one year. They leave the church. They say, I'm leaving the church uh, because I'm sick. But some people are in the church for five years and things are not going so good. You know what? They say they're leaving the church. Some people are in the church for 10 years and things don't seem to be working out for them. 
Some people for 15 years been in the church and said, I've had enough because I'm still sick. But this woman, for 18 years, she was still in the house of the Lord. Doubled up with a spell of infirmity. Nobody there was able to deliver her. She was just there, but she was in the house of the Lord. She made her way there. You know what, some people? There's nothing wrong with them. And then in the morning, they look out and say, look like it's going to rain. They don't go to church. But this woman, amen. She, my God, hallelujah. My God, this woman, she made it to the house of the Lord. Are you going to make it to the house of the Lord and keep making it to the house of the Lord? Are you going to continue to serve the Lord even though things are not so good? Well, I want to tell you something. She got a big shock when she went into the house of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible said, I read from verse 10, and he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. That's Jesus Christ. You can imagine. God turns up at your house, at your church, and you're not there. Amen. But, but this woman was there. And behold, there was a woman which has a spirit of infirmity 18 years. You know what? The Bible doesn't have a name for this woman. So it could be you. Yes? It could be you today. Amen. That God is talking to. It could be you. That God is saying, I'm going to change the order of things. Because the time is right for that situation to change. Amen. The Bible said there was a woman which had a spirit, spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together. And couldn't no wife lift up herself. Amen. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him, amen, and said unto her, Woman! Amen. I don't know about you. If you are that woman, amen, this morning, praise the name of the Lord, that's been going through hell, amen, going through carnage, going through all kinds of situations in your life, and it just seems like things cannot get any better. Amen. God speaking to you. Why? This woman doesn't add in name because God is saying it could be you this morning. It could be you that is come to lose, deliver. Amen. It's a woman thou art loose from thine infirmity. Amen. The Bible says, and he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. You know what the woman was doubled up. And when Jesus Christ laid his hands on her, amen. She moved from like this. Or oh, to this. Straighten up. Amen. How about you this morning? Would you allow God to come into your life today and do a miracle on your life? Amen. Just like the woman that had an issue of blood for 12 years. And she saw Jesus going by. And she said, if I can but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Well, have you got the faith today? Believing that God can do something to you today? Well, I dare you to come along. Amen. And come for prayer. But I'm going to go to Acts chapter 2 and verse 36. And see what the Bible said. The Bible said, Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus whom you have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are far off. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. I want to say to you today that this woman that was doubled up for 18 years, Amen. Pray. A time was right for her, just like it's a time is right for you today. Maybe your marriage is in trouble. Oh yes, your marriage is in trouble. For all those years, well God is saying the time is right for your marriage to change for the better. Maybe you have been sick for a long, long time. Amen. And the doctors cannot do anything. Well, the time is right for a change. Maybe you've been trying for a child for so long. Amen. And there's no child in the household. Well, the Bible says, and the word of God today, the time is right. Amen. Maybe, oh God, you've been looking for work for a long, long time. Amen. You've been praying. You've been fasting. Amen. And it doesn't seem to be any job. Well, the Bible, amen, the word of God given today, that the time is right. Oh God, Ecclesiastics talk about the different time, the opposite of each other. Amen. Well, I want to know if you're going through a barren period, there's going to be a time of plenty now. Amen. The time is right. Oh, God, for you to be a blessing, for God to come into your life and do much more. But the first thing you've got to do, you've got to change your life. Oh, yes. And have a relationship with Jesus Christ. 
Come to him today. The Bible, like I said, Acts chapter 2 and verse 36. Amen. It said, Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus whom you have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Amen. Now, when they heard this, my God, something happened. The Bible said they were pricked in their heart. Are you feeling something to this morning? As God speaking to you that you ought to change. He said, and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? They wanted to know what they should do to receive the blessing of the Lord. They wanted to know how they could be saved. Do you want to be saved this morning? Do you want your life to be different? The time is right. A time is right for baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. The time is right for repentance. Amen. Having a change of heart, a change of mind. Being sorry for your sins. Amen. That you have done. Amen. And give your life over to Jesus Christ. The Bible says, when Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. What for? For the remission of sins. Baptism means to be dipped, to be covered. It's full immersion in water. Amen. The whole of your body, you need to be buried. It represents the old man, the old woman being buried. Amen. And when you come out of the water, the newness of light, what you come? You became a new creature. Praise the name of the Lord. That's what God will do for you. Praise the name of the Lord. If you will come, the Bible says, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, the evidence or sign that you've received the Holy Ghost. You will speak in other tongues and the Spirit give you utterance. Are you ready to come and meet your maker? Are you ready? Well, but the time is right, praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, for the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Look, God is calling you this morning. He's calling you because he said the time is right. You've been living beneath yourself. You've been living, oh God, under yourself, where you could be in the glory of God, where God can be running your life. If you really want to change today, oh yes, you want to change in your life, a change in your circumstances. I want to say the time is right. I'm going to be at the studio for a little while. Praise the name of the Lord. You can get me on my mobile on 0558 385573. Again, 0558 385573. Straight after this broadcast, you can call me if you want prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. You can also um, text me or message me on Michael Maddox at hotmail.com. Amen. And you can visit, amen, my website on apostolicchurchlivingwaters.com. That's apostolicchurchlivingwaters.com. You can email, like I said, on michaelmaddox at hotmail.com. You know, God wants to bless you this morning. God wants to change the order of things for this morning. I don't know if some of you are in the house or maybe you're, you're driving or maybe you're just listening to somebody else's radio. But I'm going to pray for you this morning that the time is right for you, that God to do a miracle in your life today, not tomorrow. Why? Because he's ready. God is ready to bless you. His arm is not short to bless you. Amen. He wants to do something to you now. But the first thing you, you have to do, you have to change. Oh, yes. You have to change the way you're carrying out your life. You have to change your circumstances. You have to be sorry for your sin and come to Jesus Christ. There's water all over for you to go down in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For God to heal you, heal you of your, of your infirmity, heal you of your condition um, and make you a blessing to this nation. I'm going to pray at this time. If you have any special requests, you call out your special request and just touch your heart right now. And I will pray that God will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah. Lord God, I pray a prayer of faith, Lord. Lord God, upon your people today that have listened to this, to this broadcast, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you hear and answer their prayer. If those ones are sick, Lord, heal them. Lord God, those ones that doubled up, Lord God, straighten them up. Lord God, whatever they're asking for today, I pray because their life, oh God, needs you. They need a savior in their life. I pray today, oh God, that you bless them. Lord God, I pray for the sick, Lord. I pray, oh God, that you bind every spirit of sickness in the body and in the mind, oh God, in the soul, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I can't take the spirit of sickness, oh God, out of your body, out of the mind, out of the soul, in the name of Jesus, that I cast it into outer darkness to remain there until the coming of the Lord. Lord God, bless the hearers today. Bless them mightily, oh God, and heal them and deliver them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know today if anybody wants a personal prayer. Yeah, if you have a personal prayer, I'm going to be here straight after this broadcast 
on 0558385573. Again, 0558385573. You know, God wants to bless you. This woman, a man that was doubled up for 18 years, she didn't lose her faith. Why should you lose your faith? Praise him. Why don't you come? Amen. And you can start phoning now. You can start emailing now or texting now. And I'll get back to you straight afterwards. You know, the time is right. You know, God has an opportunity for you to come and to see that the glory that he has for you. Amen. That will bless you. Not only you, but your family. Amen. You need to come. Amen. And let God do something in your life. Let God change the order for you today. You know, uh, the scripture in, uh, in the book of Acts 2.38 you know, there's many people today, amen, that have not been baptized in water. They have not gone down in the water. Amen. Because baptism, like I said, it means to be covered. It means to be dipped in the name of Jesus Christ. Some people have sprinkled water. That's not enough. The Bible said, when Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, everyone, like there's some of you, all of you, amen, uh, of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. It can't be Father, Son, Holy Ghost. It has to be in the name of Jesus Christ. It was Jesus Christ that died for you. Nobody else died for you. Eh? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, or Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Those are his titles. Amen. But it's the name that has the power. Eh? If you're praying, you pray in the name of Jesus Christ. If you're casting out demonic forces, you say in the name of Jesus Christ. So therefore, when you're baptizing, you must call upon the name of Jesus Christ in your baptism, not Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Those are titles. Now, the Bible gives you a reason. It says, for the remission of sins. What? The removal of your sins. The taking away of your sins. And ye shall receive what? The gift of the Holy Ghost. You know, some people say they have the Holy Ghost and they have never spoken in tongues yet. Well, I want to say to you, you have to speak in tongues. Amen. Why? It's the evidence that you have received the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Some people say, oh, I, I've smiled when I've received the Holy Ghost. Well, I smiled before I had the Holy Ghost. That didn't mean I had the Holy Ghost. Let's, let's see what the Bible says about that. If you go to Mark chapter 16, let's see about that. Because some people don't believe that when you become a child of God, that you will speak in tongues. Tongues mean languages. It means a language that you never learn. If you go to Mark Amen. Chapter 16, beginning at verse 15. The Bible says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And listen to verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Have you spoken in new tongues since you believe? Yeah? Have you changed? Amen. Have God take control of your mouth and you spoke another language? Well, if you have, amen. And under the Spirit of God, you have received the Holy Spirit today. And I'm asking you today, come. Come and hear God's word. Amen. And look, let God bless you. The Bible goes on to say, amen. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Those are all the signs that when you come to Jesus Christ, amen, he will do for you. Amen. So why won't you come? Why won't you serve the Lord today? The time is right. Praise the name of the Lord. The time is right for you to come to him, amen, and let God do something in your life. Because he's, he's worthy of all the praise. He said, from the rising of the sun to going down of the sun, he's worthy of all the praise. Yes, he is. Praise the name of the Lord. And I'm just going to go... While I've got a little bit of time, I thought it'd be nice and useful just to go to Acts chapter 19 with you. Because some of you have said, amen, I'm going to go through this another time. Some of you have said, oh, well, I've been baptized already. Why should I be baptized again? Well, in the book of Acts chapter 19, the Bible says from verse 1, And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. You see, there was no Father, Son, Holy Ghost baptism. It was John's baptism. Praise the name of God. And then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him, which should come after him, that is on Christ Jesus. So once they, Paul taught them, they were very clear. 
that the baptism there before was not relevant for today. This is what they did. The Bible said, now when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So why won't you baptize in the name of the Lord Jesus? The time is right for you to be baptized the right way. The time is right for you to move away from the sprinkling of baptism to the full immersion that the Bible teaches about. When the eunuch, a man, was baptized by Philip, the Bible said they both went down in the water in the book of Acts chapter 8. Right? And what happened when Philip got up, Philip was taken up, taken away by the, by the Holy Spirit and found in the Zoltus. Amen. He was gone. But they both went down in the water. Even when Jesus was baptized in the river Jordan by John the Baptist, the Bible said they went down. Why won't you go down? Amen. The Bible said in verse 5, when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands, amen, when Paul had laid his hands upon them, amen, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied, and all the men were about twelve. I just want to say to you today that the time is right. Time is right for you to change your ways. The time is right, praise the name of the Lord, for you to be a blessing. The time is right for you to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The time is right for you to be healed and to be delivered. The time is right for you to do some great exploits. The time is right, hallelujah, for you to have that baby that you desired for so long. The time is right for the